Okay, the Animal Layer 2019 happened and was very great. I'm very happy and I think the, for the people that have been there it was also a very deep experience. And I had one, one thought about it because I will not share much about what we're doing as, uh, as it's part of the workshop that I'm not really speaking about it. But you can get information this one time I spoke a bit longer about it in the in the video um, content the philosophy of the animal layer and usually people people try to get information from from other people that have been there when they're interested but anyway if people want to attend I recommend just to just to come and be ready for everything uh, but yeah, this time I had one, one strong thought in my mind after that was how <clears throat> being deprived of things and having these basic stresses, primal stresses, gives you, provides you actually with a lot of strength and energy. So if you feel, hey, you can go without food, you can go without water, you can go without sleep, you can, you can endure and uh, persist you you can just continue um, you can stay barefoot and you can be without much technology and all of this in this state of of not being drawn into another place but staying in the place where you are because there are no phones, there's no clock, like you are just there. It 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 frees a lot of energy that is in you. Because all the all the softness around us, like the soft is where I sit sit on or that I can, I can always eat yeah, the moment you get a tiny bit hungry, you you start to eat, or oh, a tiny bit thirsty, you start to drink. And we have the public transport to get anywhere. We don't have to walk. And we can we can go into the shade, and we have the air conditioning and the heating in the in the window. It's all very easy. Like we try to reduce the basic stresses as much as we can. But we know also that it creates problems. We know about the health benefits of something like intermittent fasting. We know about the health benefits of movement, but the problem is that the world that we create is without any obstacles, like it has no hindrances. Like the past, there's, there's no obstacles. You just walk normally and things are on, on places where you can grab them easily. So there's no incentive to move in the daily life and it creates this bit of, bit of bizarre situation that now we go exercising for our health because otherwise or we physically decline so much that it dec that it creates many many problems as we got rid of all problems in in our environment like there are no problems to solve. There are everywhere also escalators and and uh, elevators. It's so easy to move through the environment, and that's the problem. Like it's too easy, and this also takes away our strength. Uh, or on the spiritual level also, not just physical. Like like level of the soul, it. It, it is problematic for us. This is how I felt like after this animal. I felt like wow, everyone felt so so strong and full of energy, although they were deprived of sleep. They were uh, the, like eating was very irregular. Also, drinking was quite irregular, and there was lots of physical activity, but. Besides feeling like completely tired and crashing after work, so people, people stayed up until two o'clock and, and talked and next day they were like super energetic. 
it was very very interesting to notice to notice how how this was actually not taking energy but releasing energy after after sort of a dip where people felt like wow this is hard this is difficult and then it something happened like it was releasing this what I would maybe call the animal layer or the animal uh, primal energy or whatever but it released this energy through the deprivation through the struggle but the right amount of struggle it was it was the right amount I think and if we if we can take this into our daily life that will be would be very powerful but I'm not 100% sure how how well we can just maintain this in our daily life without the without this like without depriving ourselves like like maybe it's very needed that you fast regularly and you walk and you um, and you don't drink or maybe are sleep deprived or something but I think in the animal layer because it's all coming together it works very well I'm not even so sure how well it works if it's like separated from each other and also what works well is that it's a community doing it it's like other people doing it with you you're not alone you don't feel like a strange person you feel like this is completely this is what we're doing now in its strangeness it's very it, this is it and strange it is not because it's really strange it's just because it's mostly not happening because it, it I think we, we struggle maybe a bit to understand that easiness is not necessarily creating easiness for us can make things more difficult like the chair that makes me that is nice I like the chair I really like to sit on it but I don't sit on it the whole day because this creates problems same like everything that you just if you if you get too too much into one direction can create very much problems and and this is what we've did in our society that we went very much in to the direction of uh, taking away all the needs to move to move around to be physical and we realized it and now we create all these like exercises and sport like sp sports regimes and and uh, and 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 our ancestors didn't need that because it was just part of what they're doing. For them, it would have probably been a bit ridiculous to to see our life, how our life is. That we we need to not that we need, but we do it. We do go to certain places to do movements and to exercise and so on and so forth. So maybe we can implement this more in our daily life. But also, is is only sort of possible to a certain extent like we can like sit on the floor and all this stuff and it's all practical but something like hanging for example it it there's no pr there's no need for it like there's no practical need for it in our world it will always stay like a play thing or like an exercise thing just because it's not really needed but it's it is very needed just it's not like the environment is not demanding it but for our health these things are are needed but this sort of just one level like this bit of movement stuff you know like to to squat and to hang and so on there is another layer and that's the animal layer this I, I realized again this year I realized again there is something there to play with this and it releases a lot of energy and stuff that was very good.